So today I'm working on these axe heads. They're uh, going to be a gift for my buddy from his, uh, as they were his grandpa's old ones, from his family farm. And so what I want to do today is I want to try to use this uh, bluing kit and blue them. So we'll see how it ends up working out. But I think that these will come out nicely. So I'm going to go through the process as the book tells you how to do it. And uh, I've never done this before, so this isn't really a how-to. It's just kind of a go-through-it-with-me video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the kit here. So I got a <coughs> sponge, steel wool, some paper towel, uh, barricade rust protection, and then these three little cotton balls. And then I got the uh, materials themselves. And some 400 grit sandpaper as well. So Looking in the booklet here, it's going to start off with metal preparation. And so what it says to do is to take the little sponge here, take the cleaner degreaser, and to rub the metal to clean it of any um, oils and grease that might be on it there's something that I can use to puncture this Whoa, I didn't do that properly, but so one thing it does say to do after doing that is rinse it in water, and I've got a thing of water right next to me. And then when you pull it out of the water, I'm going to set this on top of this one. It's going to get cleaned a little bit more. But take a rag and dry it off. So that one's gotten some of the degreaser on it. So I'm going to set it off to the side here and move on to the second one. So it did say to saturate the sponge with the degreaser in a roundabout way. I think I did saturate the sponge. Put a little bit more on it though.
Make sure that I get it really nice and cleaned up with the degreaser. Put the sponge off to the side. I take it in this bucket of water that I got off to the side here. And clean it up real well. Rinse it off. And then take my rag and dry it. So one thing that I found for doing stuff with brakes and cars, you don't want to use like a red rag. You want to use like these blue ones because they don't leave behind uh, fibers onto the metal, which can then get in the way of the process working down the line. Okay, so I'll put the cap back on, and I'm actually going to get rid of these pick towel. So the next step that it says to do is to apply with one of these swabs the blue rut and rust remover to and let it sit for a couple minutes and then with a small um, with the steel wool after I'm done with that, to take it and go back over them. To polish them up a little bit. So I'm gonna take one of these, get it nice and saturated. So this stuff smells pretty not good. It does not smell good. So I would make sure you do this in the well ventilated area. Okay, so now that that's nice and applied, I'm going to let it sit for two minutes, and I'll see you back when it's done. Okay, it's been two minutes, so now it says to kind of saturate the steel wool with the rust remover. And lightly go over it. So it says just to keep on repeating the process.
So we're gonna let that sit for a minute and see where we're at. So I'll see you in another two minutes. So hopefully you guys can see what's happening with this process. Come on, catch the light. So, in places like right here, where the metal is darker, I believe that's the rust and the previous finish that was put on it. And then where the metal is nice and light is where the rust remover has removed the rust and the previous coloring and everything else so I think it's going to take a couple more coats um, for both of these so instead of boring you to death I'm just gonna cut the camera here and pick up when I'm done um, as I think it's probably gonna take a decent chunk of time to get it all nice and cleaned up so we'll see you back when these are all nice and clean So now I've gone and cleaned up the metal and gotten all the rust gone from it. Um, what little coloring's left is just from pitting and age. Um, I've been working at this for about an hour or more. And so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and do a degreaser and do the degreaser again per the instructions, and then uh, try bluing it. Um, there's not, I don't think there's any benefit. I haven't noticed a change in trying to continue the rust remover. So now that I've got this one completely degreased, I'm going to stick it in the water, rinse it off. Take a new rag and dry it. And so one thing I want to make really sure is that I don't touch this with my bare hands. I always want to make sure I got the gloves on because if I touch it with my bare hands, I could run the risk of getting oils on it. And that kind of defeats the point of having the degreaser. So now that that's done, I'm going to go and dump out my water because as you can kind of see from the video here, it's nice and uh, dirty after cleaning everything off. And then I'll have some nice fresh cold water for the bluing process. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now you can see I got some nice clean water. Nick. Far. So for the bluing process, I want to take the perma blue here and take one of these sponges and I only want to let the bluing agent sit onto the metal for 30 seconds or so. 
from what it said. Um, the less amount of time that it sits on, before, or before I dunk it in the water, I should say. The less time that it sits on, the better that it is. So I'm going to take and dump this in, get the sponge nice and saturated. And then I'm just going to take and brush it on. Okay, so that's brushed on. I'm going to take it and I'm going to dump it in the water. And I screwed up. I got warm water and I needed cold water. So I am going to go and swap that out and I will be back. Okay, I'm back with my fresh, fresh and cold this time water. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bluing agent and I'm going to brush it on again. Wait a couple seconds for the blue to set in. And shock it cold. So I'm going to repeat this process a couple times until I get a nice dark blue. But as you can see, the metal is already starting to darken up a little bit. So we're going to continue and see how it turns out when I'm done. So I think that is where I'm going to leave it and I'm going to turn it over and try to get the other side as close as I can in color. But it's got a nice dark coloring to it now. As well as you can see where the original pitting was and I I have a feeling this axe is going to end up as a wall hanger when I'm done. And I think that it's going to come out looking nice because you got some of the history of the axe and the pitting and the wear. But you still have a nice looking axe when all is said and done.
So I don't know if you can see, let me turn the camera slightly, but the water is actually starting to turn from clear to a slightly, I'm going to say greenish color. Each and every time I add the axe with a little bit more bluing agent. So now I want to kind of check and see the coloring of the two sides. And I think I want to do this side one more time. And then it'll be a nice close color to what was already done. So I'm happy with the coloring on both sides that this came out. It's just kind of a nice, I'm going to call it a dull blue. And I do want to hit the bottom and top just a tiny bit. So there is one head done. Now on to the second head, which I think will actually probably come out nicer just due to the fact that the metal wasn't as pitted. Okay, so that should be the last time in the water. And then the last thing that the instructions say to do is apply this barricade to the uh, item that you're bluing to help it protect against rust. Which, from my understanding, the bluing process is a form of rusting in a sense but it's like a controlled rust. But it's why you don't want to leave the item out of the water for too long as it can cause
like rust rust. Which is honestly how these things looked when I got them from my buddy. Cautions on the back panel. So that looks to be something that you don't want to get on your hands still. So I'm going to dry my hands off as best as possible. Remove the two blued pieces. And set down another one of these. This is almost like a wet wipe. So there's one done, and now I'm going to do the other one. And so this should help the steel prevent from rusting, as this stuff was really, I think, intended for guns, but I've seen people do it with knives and other stuff. And I want to try something new for working on my buddy's Christmas present. Okay, come on. So now those two are done and I says to leave them overnight. So now those two are done, it says to leave them overnight, let that barricade really fit in. So I'll see you in the morning and we'll look at the final product. Until then, well it's going to be like five seconds for you guys. So see you in five seconds. So now it's the next day, came back out, taking a look at them. So now they've got this really nice dark color with a nice clean edge. And I'll probably take a piece of sandpaper, really fine grit, and just try cleaning that up a little bit. But other than that, they came out really nicely. So I'm glad. So we'll see you all next time.